Having topped FP1, Paul was looking good for Mercedes going into second practice in Montreal, and championship leader Lewis Hamilton and teammate Valtteri Bottas duly set the fastest times in the opening half hour. But Hamilton caught the curb at turn 8, throwing his Mercedes out of shape and striking the wall with his right rear wheel. The defending champion carefully nursing his car back to the pits. Sorry about that. But yeah, just keep the car speed low. And the chicane proved tricky for others too. Red Bull's Pierre Gasly made a mistake and took to the runoff area, as did Alex Albon in the Toro Rosso, while Romain Grosjean also took off a bit of paintwork. Gasly's teammate was in trouble too, Max Verstappen following him through, only to catch the wall with his front right. With Hamilton in the garage, Ferrari ventured out on the soft tyres. Sebastian Vettel went quickest, only to be usurped shortly after by teammate Charles Leclerc, keen to bounce back after a horrid time in Monaco. With temperatures higher than in FP1, and expected to be even hotter on race day, several drivers were concerned about durability of the soft compound. Uh, I need the box to get a bit dangerous. Copy that, Nico. Stand by. Both Haas drivers were asking similar questions, but Kevin Magnussen's P5 showed he might have got to grips with it slightly better than teammate Grosjean, who languished down in P17. McLaren, Alfa Romeo and Racing Point have all gambled by bringing extra sets of soft tyres over the harder compounds this weekend, so it will be interesting to see whether that compromises them in the fight for midfield supremacy. So a Ferrari 1-2 at the top, with Bottas around a tenth back in P3, and McLaren's Carlos Sainz with a standout drive in P4, less than four tenths off Leclerc's fastest time of the day. The two Renaults of Nico Hülkenberg and Daniel Ricciardo were sandwiched by the two racing points, with Sergio Perez more than a tenth faster than his Canadian teammate Lance Stroll, who now has a grandstand named after him at his home race. Science's teammate Lando Norris was a second off the pace in P11, just ahead of the Red Bull pairing of Gasly and Verstappen, and the two Toro Rossos of Albon and Danik Fiat just behind. Antonio Giovinazzi missed most of the session after his FP1 crash, his Alfa Romeo requiring a new gearbox, for which he won't suffer a grid penalty.